Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and in today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up your kill feed within your FPS game. Now this little kill feed is essentially going to be a box that pops up when you kill one of your enemy bots. So it's going to say you killed enemy bot and then it's just going to fade out over time and each time you kill one it's just going to keep popping up and it's just going to give the player a little bit more feedback so they know when they have killed an enemy whether that be another player, a bot, an AI, whatever you're adding into your game. So starting off let's move over into Unreal Engine 4 and take a look at how we can do this. Now, because I want multiple instances of this kill feed, so more than one of them can pop up at once, I am essentially going to add this into another widget blueprint. And this widget blueprint is going to contain all the graphical elements for this little pop-up of ours. Now, I'm just going to call this kill pop-up. And then within this, I'm going to add a few things in here. First things first is I'm going to add the image for the background, which is the little black layer in the back. So open this up and the name for this is simply kill feed underscore back and you can choose this from the appearance. For size I'm going to use the one down here the original size which is 194 by 28. And then once we've done this I'm also going to have two pieces of text. And the reason why I'm using two pieces of text is because if you take a look here you can see we've got two pieces of text which are different colors essentially and also for player you might want to have that dynamic so if you've just killed um, an AI with one name and an AI with another name you want it to vary each you know with each pop-up now for this system I'm just gonna have it say enemy bot but I still want it to be a different color anyway um, just to make it a little bit easier to read so First text, I'm going to set the content to killed and then just like that or I can try and match it up with this saying you killed, so let's do that. You killed, all in capital letters and then for the font size I'm going to set this to something like 11 just to make sure it fits and also change my font style to light just like that. And then with this one, do the same thing, light font size to 11 and then this time I'm just going to make the default text say enemy underscore bot and then with this I'm just going to place this over here just like that and that looks good to me. Now one thing I am going to do is quickly change the color and opacity of the enemy bot. I'm going to put it into this light red so people know that it's an enemy. They're just going to automatically associate this with an enemy which is great. So now that we've done this we need to do something to um, you know for, to make it pop up and also to animate it but before we can animate it we need to get the position of this. Now if you take a quick look at our heads up display you can see it's in the corner with our border and to do this the way I'm going to get the location that it should be is by opening up the heads up display widget this one here selecting the background and then pasting it into here and then clicking dragging and placing it where I think it should be anchoring it to the right and then I'm just going to get the position for X and Y and I'm just going to paste this into my kill pop-up so that way when it comes onto the screen I know the alignment is a hundred percent perfect so position X is minus 225 so I'm going to copy that by pressing ctrl C and the background in here align it to the top right and then I'm also going to paste that in and then over here get the position Y which is 32 and then the position over here paste that in and set it to 32 <clears throat> and the rest I'm not going to worry about copying the location for those I can just drag these in and it will look good enough for me so once I've done this, I'm going to close the FPS HUD and make sure I delete this box because we don't need it anymore. And then with this stuff, I'm just going to turn off my alignment and I am just going to try and center it so it looks good. So the next step that we need to do then is pretty much just animate this so that it fades onto a screen and then fades down and out so the player can no longer see it, just get it out of the player's way. 
but before we can set up an animation for something like this, we need to change the default opacity for all of our text to 0, 0, and also 0 as well just so that it doesn't flicker or cause any issues with this. Now I'm also going to give some names to my kill feedback in the top of our details panel so when I'm adding it into my animation I know exactly what is what. So first things first with the box selected for the kill feedback set this to kill feed underscore back and then for our text just change this to text underscore killed and then lastly over here this is text underscore name and that's all good so moving on to the animation side of things in the bottom left hand corner we can add an animation and I'm just gonna call this kill pop-up just like that and then with this I've got to now add all of these elements into our system into our animation so first things first let's start off with the kill feed for the back with this back place in here, I'm going to add a color and opacity track to manage the fade. And I'm also going to add a transform track to, tran uh, you know, manage the movement of this. So starting off with the color and opacity, I'm going to make it fade on and then fade out. So I'm going to make it fade on in about half a second. So I'm going to set this to one. So now if I just do this, go to zero seconds, press play you can see it fades on quite quickly and then over two seconds I'm gonna tell this to fade out again so just like this it's gonna fade on and then it's gonna slowly fade out giving the player enough time to see this pop-up and what I'm also gonna do for this element is I'm gonna start moving it as well so over here at 0.5 seconds I'm gonna keep it in its normal location so add a key for translation and then all the way at the end at two seconds I'm going to set the transform over here and this not the transform sub sorry uh, the translation and with this what I'm going to do is I actually expand this I am going to modify the Y so that it moves down a little bit so it's going to fade down over time and move there so let's take a look at this animation now press play fades on fades out and disappears and it looks quite nice to me now you might want to move it further it's entirely up to you um, I'm actually going to move it slightly further down just in case we have more than one you know pop-up coming up at once so they quickly move out of the way so if I take a look at this now press play and it's going to move down and it's going to look great so we've done that we've done the first piece so what I'm going to do now then is just pretty much add our text in here as well. So add an element and then it's going to be text for killed first. And then with this, add a color and opacity, a color and opacity track just like we did before. So at 0 0.5 seconds, we want the opacity to be set to one. And then at two seconds, we want the opacity set back down to zero. So you can see now it fades on with the block and fades out with the block. That's all good. With this done, what we're also going to do is add a transform track for this little text thing and just do the same thing as before. Just close up your color and opacity. We don't need that anymore. And then with this, add a translation track and make sure you have a keyframe at the beginning and at 0.5 seconds and then at 2 seconds you want it to be all the way down over here so let's see if we can take a look at this so you have killed and you can see it's starting to fade out but it's moving not anywhere near as far as the block block is so we need to make sure that moves further so select your end frame and then just move this down all the way down here and let's take a look at this now going back you can see it is moving with the block now the alignment is slightly off and the easiest way to fix this is to see what we set the negative value for the Y to and just copy that over so you can see here it is set to 114 so just do the same thing over here as well 
114 and now if we press play and take a look at this it all moves in line in time and it just looks great so we've just got to add one more of these little elements in and that is just for the last piece of text and sorry guys the animation takes a little while that's just sort of the way it works once we've got this animation set up everything is going to just fall into place really really quickly so last piece of text add this in and this is text underscore name add a color and opacity track and also add a transform track color and opacity I'm just going to speed through it without explaining everything go to opacity zero to start with half a second in it'll be set to one and then at two seconds it's going to be set back down to zero so you can see here that looks good to me and now all we've got to do is just set up that transform so scrolling down transform at the start it should be set to zero half a second also it should be set to zero and then at two seconds we want to set this to 114 and you can see now it moves with the box and it looks good so press play look at that I like that that's a good little kill not notifier so moving on from the animation I'm sure you guys are really eager to stop working on this go to your graph and let's tell it to as soon as it loads this widget to play the kill pop-up animation so what I'm going to do is drag out from construct, play animation, and then with this in animation, get a reference to your kill pop-up, hook this up to the in animation, target should be itself, only play it once, start time is zero, play mode is forwards, and we've got all of that good stuff in. So let's tell it now to actually pop up this notification when you kill an enemy, because there's no good just having a widget we need to tell it to, you know, add to the viewer screen. So let's go ahead and open up our AI or yeah, our AI and find the element where we damage the AI. If the damage or the health rather goes below zero, then we want to tell it to create the widget and play it. Now we should already have a system for this. As you can see here at the top, when it collides with the projectile, you can see it runs a check to see whether or not the health is below zero. If it is, it's gonna destroy the actor. So after it's destroyed the actor, what I'm gonna tell it to do is create a widget, and this widget is gonna be our kill pop-up, and then once it's done this, simply add it to the viewport, and by doing this, it's gonna automatically play the animation, and it's gonna automatically pop up on the screen. So let's try this. If I take a step back, shoot one of my dudes and then kill it you can see it all pops up on the screen just like we want it to now one thing you will notice is the text alignment is a little bit off it's over to the left and the reason why it's like that is because not everything has been anchored to the top right hand corner as it should do so just go through in your hierarchy tab select each of the elements and just anchor it to the top right just like that and now if we press play shoot one of my dudes now you can see it pops up exactly as it should do and we have now essentially got our kill feed in the game and working anyway guys i'm gonna end the video here once again thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating enjoy the rest of the series your boy vertus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.